Welcome to the Thargoid Report. I'm Commander Burr. This is a weekly breakdown of the ongoing conflict with the Thargoids and a guide to how you can get involved and make a difference. If you find this information useful then remember to hit the subscribe button and make sure you see all our future videos. The following stations were attacked by Thargoids this week and are currently on fire and subject to ongoing rescue operations. Titan's daughter in the Taygeta system, Can Relay in the Evangelis system and Sal Prospect in the Lembas system. Linked below you'll find the Discord for the Post Disaster Evacuation Service that's an entire community dedicated to conducting rescue operations from the Thargoid affected stations. There you'll also find advice and be able to link up with other commanders participating in the relief efforts. They'll have the latest information on what stations to focus on. As well as evacuating civilians from these stations you can also help deliver food, water, basic medicines and natural fabrics to the affected stations. All the basics for existence there as well as a nice set of pleasing drapes. If you are going into a burning station bring all the heat sinks. Links to my previous videos on this subject are below. If you're looking to attack Thargoid scouts then the following systems are being flagged by the Eagle Eye sensor network as having been targeted by the Thargoids and should be in theory at least in a state of infestation. I say in theory but they're not currently showing as infested in the game. Sterope 2 HIP 18502 Pleiades Sector MIS B41 HIP 17481 Witchhead Sector IRWC19 and Witchhead Sector IRWC18. If you are engaging in scout combat operations you don't necessarily need specialised equipment but the entry level anti xeno weaponry requires no unlocking and it really helps. It's worth noting that the scout class vessels also count as elite ranked ships so this is an excellent way to level up your combat rank. The systems currently being identified by the eagle eye sensors are the exact same systems that were identified as infested during the recent 5 month pause in the Thargoid advance prompting fears in the community that we're about to see a repeat performance of the same pause in Goid activity. The systems are completely uninhabited meaning that, in theory at least, we might not see any incursion states or burning stations next week. We'll obviously update on that situation as soon as we have news. For the more hardcore combat zone encounters the following systems are under Thargoid incursion right now and will have combat zones that feature scouts as well as the larger interceptor class vessels. Taygeta, Evangelis, Lembas and HIP 16813. For a short while yesterday an Aegis warship was actually inhabiting the same instance as a Thargoid combat zone. At one point we actually witnessed the warship loosing off a few rounds at a passing Hydra. Yes really Aegis actively participated in the war if only for a few moments. Later in the day when I suspect that Frontier noticed the proximity of the CZ to the warship the two were unfortunately separated. If you are taking on the scouts and the death daisies I'd recommend decontamination limpets are added to your standard arsenal and you might want to think about taking shed loads of heat sinks as well. The cone sector critters will struggle to track you when you're cold. With the assistance of the AXI discord all the systems I've listed this week are now presented in priority order. If you're looking to wing up with other commanders then you'll find a link below to the discord server for the AXI. They're a really friendly bunch and whatever your level of competence they'll help you fight bugs. Wherever you go commanders remember to pick your fights with care. If you want to get involved with repair efforts and help get damaged stations back online then head over to the Operation Ida discord. Ida coordinate the rebuilding efforts for the wider galactic community and will have you covered on where to go and what to bring with you. All you need is a galactic map and a few cargo racks. They are also linked below. For updates throughout the week on everything we've talked about here Commander M Graham of the AXI maintains a reddit post detailing every aspect of the death blossom conflict as it develops. That is also linked below. 
That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this information useful remember to subscribe to the channel and we'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs may all your high predictions be brief and don't let a caustic cactus give you nightmares. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.